Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a quite a special one because I recently splurged <laughs> on this sealed tarot deck. You'll see the cards are actually sealed. Um, the Morgan's Tower, which is one of my favorite decks ever. This is sealed from 1990, from 1983, I believe. So this has been sealed for what, 40 years now? I thought it was so cool and I did splurge on this with the shipping and with the conversion fees because I am in Canada. So I splurged on this deck. <laughs> I paid about $150, okay? So yeah, that's a little crazy. That's a little gift from me to me. First of all, this version is sealed. You can see how yellow it is. So I thought it'd be really fun to unbox this with you guys and to maybe compare with my most recent Morgan's Tarot from US Games in uh, 2017, I believe. Um, so I don't really have the book right now for, for this one, but I believe they have a similar book. There's one big difference on this, and I think it's the cardstock and the backs. You'll see the backs are actually purple. And um, on my version, they had the copyright. You can still kind of see it here. So yeah, I kind of put some white on it, like a white Sharpie on it, just so it's like less apparent because it was fucking annoying me. And um, I actually also saw the version from the first edition from this deck that was printed in the 70s. Um, I did see that version as well, but I decided to buy this one because first of all, it's sealed and it has the uh, purple backings that I love. The only difference I saw with uh, the 70s ones and the 80s one is that the 70s one, I believe, it's a pamphlet instead of a booklet and there's no copyright on it. So, you know, I would have gotten that one, but it was going for crazy money. I already kind of spent too much on this deck, but <laughs> because it's one of my favorite decks and purple is my favorite color, I just felt like I wanted to treat myself to something nice. So um, let's uh, have a look here. I usually when I get a, a new deck, my first thing that I want to do is rip it open and just get into the deck, right? But I already have a copy of this deck, so I know exactly kind of what to expect. I know what this deck is. And so it's been charging um, until I felt it was the right moment to unbox it. And I wanted to share with you, with you guys. And yeah, so I feel like this is the right moment to unbox it with you guys and to maybe compare with the 2017 copy. The Morgan's Tarot is, first of all, not a tarot in my opinion. <laughs> but this deck is so special to me. And... Um, it actually reminds me of a friend who passed away last year. And so I have this deck for a, for a few years now, but this deck really reminds me of that person. And so, I don't know, I just... This deck is so special. So not only it reminds me of my, my friend, because he was just as weird as this deck, honestly. And I feel like it's a part of him in this. I don't know why it's so weird, but I don't want to get too emotional here. <laughs> And uh, this deck is really special for me because this deck is one of my favorites. Like I said, this is my weird deck. You know, I come from a different planet. I feel like this is me in a deck. Um, it really connects to my higher self. And, um, you know, I get these messages. I would never read what's for someone else for, for this because I feel like this is a reflection of my higher self, okay, of my higher soul. When I feel disconnected from my soul, from, from myself, I go to this deck and, you know, I could be having a breakdown and... You know, I'll pull a card and it's going to make me see things from a different perspective, see the, the, the depth or the meaning in a situation. And this is the only deck that actually makes me laugh out loud <laughs> because of how quirky and how weird it is. It reminds me to not take myself so seriously, you know. And um, there is still a few cards that I don't complete understand. <laughs> so I center myself and pull a card from this deck and look at this. Who am I? This is the perfect like example to describe this deck, honestly do I could do I mean look how silly this deck is but it's so profound and so deep like so spiritual I don't know how to explain it it has such a special place in my heart and so now that I have two copies I feel like I want to color in this one let me know if you guys have this deck if you've colored it in if you've thought about it <laughs> I love this card and um yeah because why not have you know one colored in I'm thinking maybe like watercolors or pastel or something like kind of see-through for the colors not something too bright but yeah, let me know if you've been um, down that road with this deck. But uh, let's get into it. Let's unbox this. This is the Morgan Tarot from 1983. So this is 40 years old and still sealed. Now there is like a $35. Is that $35? This person paid $35 for it. That's crazy considering the amount I just paid for it. <laughs> but like I said, I don't usually do that with decks. And um, this right here though is completely my fault. Um, but the rest is original, so it is a little bit yellowed out from the ages and things like that. I don't understand how this deck has managed to stay unopened all these years. 
printed in Belgium, and we see the copyright right here, 1970 and 1983, which is the one I have. Um, so right away, let's compare the bags. I haven't opened it. Um, I believe it's the same size. Wow, this is the pretty much the same size. Um, but I think this deck right here is a little thicker in the cardstock. We'll take a look. And look at these packs. How freaking beautiful is that in freaking purple, pinkish purple, fuchsia. I don't know why this version didn't keep the original backs. The original coloring, I mean. I mean, it's so beautiful. I feel like the details just kind of pop more. <sighs> I've been putting opening this deck for so long. I've been putting it off because I don't know. I've never had like an old deck like this sealed. I feel like this is going to be my copy, you know, and it's been charging near my bedside for all this time. Probably what, two, three weeks now, honestly. <sighs> okay, I can't wait to get my hands on this. And I'm happy because this is like the title card, but it's actually kind of part of the deck as well. And in my copy here, I actually did not keep it because I knew it was part of the deck. But if you read the guidebook, um, she explains that there is a similar card to the meaning of this one in the original deck. And I didn't like that. It said like illustrated by this person, created by Morgan. Like, I feel like this, I don't want this information right here in my deck. So I had like thrown it away or something, but I have this copy that has it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it in my deck or just keep it um, on the side, but we'll see. Um, okay, it's time, let's open it. <laughs> oh, okay, let's open it. Here we go, are you ready? Let's open it from this side, hello. Have my sturdy little butter knife here. Have you ever had an experience like this with a deck where you get it sealed and you don't want to open because it's so special to you? Oof. Hasn't been opened in 40 years. So the top here, there is like some indents or whatever. The side looks a little gray. This cardstock though, it's similar to this one, but this one is a lot thinner. Like that vintage cardstock, you know, that good old cardstock. I do like this US Games cardstock, but it's a little thick, you know, it's a little, it's not as malleable as this one. But yeah, look at that. I'm probably going to wipe this part out too because I really hate copyrights on my decks, honestly. And plus it says the whole US Game Systems Inc. Look how pretty. Okay, let's try to compare some cards here. Um, and this is the first time, the second time actually. Oh yeah, and here's the little booklet. Um, I do believe that it is the same one as in uh, 2017. It has like no freaking order. Yeah. This deck is so special to me. Yeah, I, I honestly think this is the same little booklet. Now, the version in the night, the first version, the first edition of this deck has a little pamphlet. And uh, oh my god, doing the Celtic spread with this deck is wild. <laughs> um, at first, I didn't think like this would work, you know, with this kind of deck, um, doing a Celtic spread. But holy fuck, that freaking got me to my core, honestly. I love it. Let me know if you've done this Celtic spread with um, Morgan's Tarot here. But here, let's put this like here, maybe. Do what I could do. Someone really paid $35 back then for this. This is crazy. This is going to be the first time, or the second time that I see this deck in order because there's no truly, or there's no true order to this deck, really. And um, ah, I say that as I fuck everything up. Okay, I put it back. So yeah, I really like this card stock. And look how thick the difference is. So this one, you can definitely tell it's much thicker. Well, not much thicker, but definitely thicker. Not that much of a difference. And let's try to see here, just for shits and giggles. It's pretty much the same. The corners are a little larger on the US games. So yeah, it's a tiny, tiny larger on the corners, I'd say. But other than that, it's a very similar card stock. Okay, let's do a little flip through and try to compare. Ooh, I think that writing is different. Ooh, I think I'll make a Buddha. 
The um, seller, uh, I bought this on Etsy, by the way. The seller on Etsy, okay, was great. Let me know in the comments if I can maybe try to find her. She sells or he sells. The person sells. <laughs> I don't actually know who sold this, but the person sells like vintage cards or rare cards and things like that. Great service, great shipping. International shipping was really fast. And she included, I think it's a girl, honestly. I think she's a woman. I think whatever. She included a, a little gift in my box. It's a, like a little Buddha. So it really made me think of this card. I think I'll make a Buddha. But yeah, I'm going to put this card aside because I think this is a different font, different writing. Oh, I love this. Okay, we'll put this card here to to, to um Oh, yeah, there's definitely a difference in writing, I think. There are no mistakes. Mistakes and mistakes is spelled weird. This deck is so freaking clever, so deep. It has so much to bring to me honestly to my life. I'm so happy I found this. Um but in my copy here, there's like a uh, little bubbles on the card. I don't know why it was kind of that's how I got it. So, we'll try to find the other card. Oh, whatever's right. I feel like this is one of my favorite cards. And then Passion. I do think there is a little something different from the art. Maybe I'm crazy. I really think the font is different. On and off. Go ahead. Let George do it. George likes to do things. This is getting messy. Do it now. It'd be fun to compare, but there's like no way. Oh, there we go. I think I'll make a Buddha. Let's try to find a card again. Ah, there we go. That's my card. There we go. Yeah, the writing has been filled in. That's the difference. The writing has been filled in. Huh, interesting. I wonder why they did that. Maybe it's a little clearer. I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's other differences. On the borders, maybe. The borders are a little thicker. I feel like this version is a little cleaner because like look at right here so that's that and here's the the one here there yeah the writing has been filled in wait that's not even there are no mistakes what the fuck am i crazy i know there is a card here that it says there are no mistakes but i thought this was it what the hell okay i'm confused Keep going. Keep up the good work. What's happening? Who am I? Love that card. Think about it for a while. Whatever's right. I know I just passed it here. This is one of my favorite cards. Do you have a favorite card? Let me know in the comments. I feel like the lines are thicker. I don't know. There's a little something off. I don't know. This writing is is uh, something. Drug dragged. Think about it for a while. I still don't understand. I love that. Don't worry. You can do no wrong. It's kind of cool to have a version with like the original writing. I don't have to look at uh, to compare a flip through of the 70s if I can even find that. But yeah, definitely this card. Also, the writing here has been filled in. I can't wait to see how this shuffles. Oh, I love this. Oof, one of my favorite cards. So clever. Death and Rebirth. Oh, it's so cute. Grass and heavy. Oh, freak. This is one of my favorite cards. I love it. Love it. Hmm. Oh, somewhere, somewhere there is an energy leak. Oh, I believe this is different as well. I think. I really wish my copy here was in order. I guess I could have watched a flip through and put it in order, but I am too lazy for that. Oh, look at that. We have the both Virgin Sun Queens together. <gasps> hey, something's weird. Her hair is off and her crown is different. I guess there are like little details that have been retouched, improved, quote unquote. And then the writing, even the edges, like the border is different. So wavy on here. I don't know why. Basically, the Sun Queen is my card in this deck. She represents me, okay? That's the first card I drew from this deck, and it's the Sun Queen. I love the little story in the booklet, and uh, I don't know. She's, she's just me, okay? She's me. No trips without a tripper. I feel like this older version here that has been... Oh, there we go. Trip. Nope. I don't know. I'm so confused. Ooh, the blank card. I love that. 
this has got to be the messiest um, flip through. But I'm a messy person. Drink gold. Is anyone still watching? <laughs> What's happening? Ooh, the weed card. I mean, the grass card, of course. It's grass. <gasps> there I was, surrounded. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Got a couple favorites in this one, honestly. Oh, there is nothing you can do. Awake. The Valley. My name is Val, so this is like my card as well. Is this a little different too? A little bit more messy? What's going on here? I gotta find this card. <laughs> Something's going on. I'll find it at the end. Ooh, your experience sing an illegitimate feeling. Did I say that right? I don't know. Ooh, downtown funk with the mushroom card. Love it. Oh, there we go. Here's my other card. Downtown, down home funk. I love, there we go. This one's a lot darker. I feel like they filled in some stuff. I don't know. It's different, but I feel like I can tell. Hey, the hell this person is missing here. <laughs> what is going on? Why is it so different? It's like subtly different. You know what I mean? Definitely the trees have been darkened. The tire too. And then there's a whole person missing. And here I could not tell for the life of me that that was a dog. Here I definitely could tell it's a dog. And they added this part here. I don't know why. It's like find the difference. And this part here is not there. And whatever this is. Interesting. So I guess there is a little bit of a difference. Nobody here but us folks. I believe this card is also different. Globe. I can never read what it says here. What it says? Something my globe. Glob. There we go. What was it I was doing a minute ago? Minute ago. Yesterday's truth. I love that. This deck, I swear someone was on drugs when they created. There we go. Your doubt is your faith, if unnecessary, in your particular case, perhaps. Doubt. So yeah, except for the writing, the rest is pretty much the same. This may not be a perfect circle, but it is a perfect whatever it is. <laughs> I want to look at that one. Boo! Heavy. Drug dragged. Looks pretty similar. Power. I do want to check this one out. I love that card. Oh, here's the blind card. The same. You're a pawn. The guy with the mustache. As above, so below. Ooh, I love this. How funky is this? I like it. There's the circle. The field of the Lord. Hmm, I prefer this card, honestly. The dream. Oh, those look like, like tiny mushrooms. I feel like that one's different. You are our God with the little robot. <laughs> do, I could do. It's this one right here. <laughs> Ooh. The hand? What the hell is going on with the hand? I feel like they fixed this. That's strange. Let me check that out. Oh, I feel like the dog is different. It's much cuter in the... I don't know. He looks like... What is that? A bull haircut? <laughs> it's a dog eat dog food world. Tout le monde a sa place. Ignore the proceeding. I love this card. There are no others. Far out. The boo card. Eternal bliss. Ooh, I love this more. Oh, here's my little freak card. With the stop. Not unfolding the way it should. The universe. Ha ha ha. There we go. The door to the Akashic Records. There is no you. So for the most part, they're very similar. Slight, slight few differences though. I love this card. Let's go a little faster here. Speed. It's 
There's a judge. You are it. Huh. I saw my favorite card. Insignificant change. I love, love, love this card. So deep and clever. I can't describe this deck. Oh, here's my other one. So again, it looks a little darker. Like more filled in. Perhaps a little more, I don't know, clear? I don't know. They did something. I wonder, I'm going to need to check out the um, first version, see what's different. Here's my little robot. Forget it. Here's the other card. Who am I? But in this one right here, it says, who am I? Oh, maybe because she couldn't put it there. I don't know. I don't remember what it looks like. I come from a different planet. Ah, here we go. I don't know if you can see mine. It has a bunch of bubbles in it. It came from the manufacturer like that. I'm not sure why. Thank God this one is fine. I like the writing on here, though. It's a little uh, more weird. A little more, I don't know, interesting. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not spontaneous, but... real i don't know what i'm it looks more handmade you know more like less perfect oh the valley i love that oh the nine i still don't understand does consciousness ring a bell consciousness you are a pawn let judge do it oh, it's a love card Ooh, that is different writing look at it here Ooh, look they inverse the the heart here is a lot thicker, and then the love word is a lot thicker here. For the most part, though, the rest is similar. Or the same? Oh, I like that. Cute. Pigs and fish surrounds you. Can you explain this card in the comments for me, please? Thank you, if you understand it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I get different messages sometimes, but... Oh! I think this is the most different card. Look at that. I knew something was off. He kind of looks like a gargoyle, this one. I don't know. I kind of like it. It has his charms. Hmm. I wonder who did that. The artist or US Games? This is also printed by US Games, I believe. Yeah, US Games. That's weird. Try to relax. Ooh, this font is giving me the creeps. In all the best ways possible. Always remember this. World, worldless. And then we have the rest. Ooh, that's one of my favorite. Where is my little... I'm trying. I'm starting to think that it's a little different. There we go. See? How different is this? Je sais pas pourquoi ça m'a pas sauté dans la face quand j'ai vu cette carte-là, mais là, en regardant la, ça, avec, la version que j'avais, they added this little movement thingies. Different. Okay, let's put this in order. Not in order, I mean upright. So I could shuffle it for the first time ever. And then I'm going to go ahead and charge it out in the sunlight. I'm going to keep this one in. Because I feel like I have to. Keep the deck complete. Ooh, my favorite card. One of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites in this deck, honestly. Baba Ganoush. All right. We are on a roll. Let's give it a quick shuffle. Here we go. The moment I've been waiting for. Shuffles well. I always like to give it my new decks a couple shuffles just to work it in, break it in. I like my cards, you know, to have the feel of my hands and my shuffle pattern. OK, 
Yeah, I like it. Let's try it on the, this side. This is always harder for me. Let's pull a card. Let's see what kind of card wants to come out first. Huh, I actually pulled this card earlier today, so that's funny. I feel like there's a slight bow in the cards. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull a card at random. And you let me know in the comments your interpretation intuitively from that card, okay? What message are you getting? Let me know in the comments. Let's share our wisdom. It's always interesting to see how people interpret a certain cards intuitively. There are, are no wrong answers, of course. No wrong answers. And I'll let you know what message I get. So let's see here. Because this deck is weird, right? Do not meddle in the affairs of wizards, for they are subtle and quick to anger. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see what the message is that I'm getting here. So basically, I feel like this is, uh, this means to mind your own business. <laughs> you know, if, do not meddle in the affairs of wizards, for they are subtle and quick to anger. Uh, mind your own business, um, because I feel like, if you go looking for answers in certain places where you shouldn't be or things that don't um, include you or things that you're not part of necessarily, um, you might find out things that are um, uh, not accurate. Uh, maybe someone will lead you down the wrong way just to mess with you because you're asking things that you're not supposed to be or things that are just not your business. So there could be lies <laughs> um, that uh, come with that, um, asking the wrong people the wrong questions or putting your nose where it should not be. Um, so that's kind of what I'm getting right now for this card. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, like I said, if um, you have a different interpretation. And if so, what is it? Because I do love these kinds of exercises. I think it's so cool. Especially this deck. I feel like there's no right answers. Now, this deck is a lot slippery, very uh, more slippery than the other one. But I do love the cardstock. Here's another one. Oh, the robot. This is more interesting. Let me know in the comments what message you get for this card, because this is one of the harder cards to read intuitively, in my opinion. My interpretation of this card is that you're being too stiff. You're being too robotic. Maybe you're on autopilot. Maybe you only do the things that people ask from you and you don't act from your heart. You don't act from whatever it is that you want. You know, like a robot. Someone, tu sais, il y a quelqu'un en arrière du robot qui pitonne, là, genre les commandes, là. <laughs> giving you commands or something like that. And you just have to... <laughs> kind of fulfill someone else's orders is what I'm getting here. So you're not thinking from yourself, for yourself. You're thinking for someone else or you're doing things for other people. You're too stiff, robotic, on autopilot. And uh, that's kind of what the message I'm getting here. I mean... Let's go see the guidebook, actually. Let me know right now before I tell you what the guidebook is. It's just that this guidebook, though, is hell to actually find a card. And there's no, like, table of contents or anything. So, plus, there's no, technically, there's no titles on this card, right? So, it's probably going to be, like, a robot or something. I don't know. Maybe I already passed it. I have no idea. So, yeah, I don't have that much patience for the guidebook. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to read, but I don't really read it. Here we go. Oh. Mechanical thinking will take you no further than the robot on this card can go. Oh my god, I was right. Kind of. Mechanical thinking will get you no further than where the robot is in this card. That is so cool. Um, I do like this guidebook. Oh. But it's not one I usually refer to, but... Because sometimes it's just weird. Like, this card right here, okay? This is one card I have trouble understanding... Tomato, potato, eggplant. I don't understand really like that description. That's why for me this deck is a highly uh, spiritual kind of deck. You know, I don't go to the guidebook. I just kind of download information from these cards, honestly. And um, one day one card will mean something. The next will mean something else. So this deck is highly versatile. And, you know, when I feel lonely or misunderstood in this world, this is the deck I go to because of the perspectives it gives me on my world, on my life, on my situation. 
And yeah, like I said, makes me laugh, makes me smile. This is the only deck that actually makes me laugh out loud. Like, crampé, crampé à moi-même, à ma situation. <laughs> ça me fait juste réaliser que les choses sont peut-être pas aussi sérieuses ou qu'il y a toujours une façon différente de voir les choses dans laquelle on est, tu sais. Fait que ça, ça c'est... Ce deck-là, là, il m'ouvre tellement l'esprit, là, c'est fou, là, je l'adore. Uh, « No trips without a tripper ». That's cute. I love it. So, yeah, this deck is really deep. Definitely one that I um, sit with the cards, meditate, and download information. So, let me know, guys, what you thought about this unboxing, about this deck, about the interpretation of the card. That's mostly what I want to hear from you guys in the comments, honestly, or whatever else you want to share with me or with us. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!